Hey guys, it's me Kimberly. Today we're doing Chris's home and he lives two hours east of the city of Toronto and just bought a weekend getaway in Toronto right downtown. This condo is located in the King Edward Hotel. Super beautiful. It's an older building so the rooms are relatively small and the doorways are small so we had to design to keep this in mind. Let's start with the master bedroom. So this is only a one bedroom condo, so the master bedroom is super tiny. We could only do a queen size bed. Because the room was very narrow, not too wide, we couldn't do a headboard with wings on the side. So we did the Kinga bed, which is similar to our Chelsea bed. No wings and two super tiny mirrored nightstands. There's a big rug to ground this. That is it. That is all the furniture we could use in this space. Because we did a black headboard, even though it was a small space, we want to do black bedding, some black and gray pillows, gray furry throw, and a couple pieces of art that picked up on the gray and the cream and the white and the black, and two big black lamps to balance off that headboard. And basically, that was it. Other than we added this beautiful decorative mirror that kind of looks like that. It's absolutely fantastic. It's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, they don't need a mirror per se in that room, but it's nice to have a little something. I think this space looks so high-end, so hotel, so Toronto. Let me tell you what I really think about small spaces. I love small spaces. I mean, like, I'm small. There's nothing wrong with being small. The thing is, don't think that you can't do drama just because the space is small. Don't be afraid of color just because the space is small. A bedroom, you want to look cozy, so having black in there does make it cozier. I absolutely love decorating small spaces with big furniture, so don't be afraid of designing small spaces with black. Our design program works like this, guys. We send a qualified designer out to her home to measure one room at a time. We do all the elevations and the floor plan so that we have perfect, accurate measurements. A week later, you come back to the showroom. We walk the showroom. We test all the furniture. We see what you love and then and see what your aesthetics are. And that's why we give you the what do you love questionnaire. It's a design personality test that just sort of takes you through a whole bunch of furniture and room layouts. Maybe you love everything on that page. Maybe you like nothing, but this is a good way for us to understand who you are and for you to understand what you really love, like, want to be surrounded with. It's not the be all and the end all. Clearly when you get back to the showroom, you may change your mind. You may see something on Instagram that's gonna motivate you and inspire you. And that's cool, but this complete personality test usually does the trick for me in 98%. I know who you are and that's what I want. I wanna make you happy.